So I'm about to leave to run out on an errand. Um, this week has been kind of low and hard for me in general, so I actually haven't been out of the house a lot, and um, I'm still feeling kind of sad. So I'm hoping that by doing these errands, uh, will have helped perk me up. Um, one lady in one of my vocal groups was giving away some uh, cat supplies and there is a food dish that basically um, had two dishes um, attached to like a uh, silicone mat and I'm thinking that might be something good to try for Leo as he's pretty messy with his food. So I'm going to pick that up in a town that's about half an hour away. It's like the bigger city in the area. Um, and then I forgot to put my greens in the Instacart um, when I ordered earlier this week. And so I'm going to stop by Whole Foods and pick things up, pick some things up. Um, along with butter because I'm running out. Um, but yeah, so that's today. It's supposed to be um, kind of rainy all the next four days or so, with potentially a Sunday being the best day. So I think, depending how my energy is on Sunday, I think I'm going to try to go for another walk. Um, at another trail because I've been trying to do that more to get into the habit and I've realized that um, I've realized that like I don't mind doing exercise if my mind is on something else not necessarily watching a TV show or something that that's too much of the same but like foraging for mushrooms um, even a little bit of photography but the photography is more of like stop and go it's like you walk a distance and then you find something interesting you stop and take a look at it and the stop and go isn't necessarily good for my um energy levels i guess there's some stop and go with mushrooms too but it's more of like oh does is this mushroom edible and then you keep going um, it's not like, oh, stop and take 50 photos of this plant or something like that and then keep going. So I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying hard um, to find ways to do exercise because the last time I went foraging was last weekend and I got like 4,000 steps in, so, which is pretty good. Um, so that is my goal for the summer. Middle of the summer might be really challenging because of heat exhaustion but my goal is to do um to do that to, to do more and maybe like during the summer it could be like once a month sort of thing instead of like every other week because for now from now into june i'm gonna try to do it every other week and then during the middle of the uh, peak summer once a month and then back down to every other week due to heat exhaustion uh, but anyway I should get going um, the parking lot is filling up and I'm sure somebody wants my spot um, hopefully when I come back my preferred spot will be there um, it's during the middle of the week at the end of a work day so I kind of doubt it but who knows Anyway, I'm off to get gas before I do the errand. Or actually, I have about a quarter tank left, so I think I might try to just do the errand and then get gas um, at some point during the trip, like on the way back or something like that. But anywho, um, that's the end for this clip, and I might do a check-in or something later on. But yeah, so off to get that dish bowl. So I made it to the lady who had the cat dish and it uh, looks like this. Oh. 
some good news. It's not actually um, silicone. It's a plastic and it's raised, completely raised off the ground. So I'm hoping it'll work for his messes. But thankfully I was able to do that. Northampton kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies a little bit because it's very um, close together in terms of the housing and um, which means there's, the parking isn't the best and like everything like that. So getting out of here is kind of tricky because there's really no place for me to turn around. And that's usually my go-to. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure this out. But my next stop is Whole Foods. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you on the next clip. So I got the goods. I'll do a grocery haul when I get home. But it was kind of busy in there, so I didn't want it to film. But I got um, some greens and then some breakfast items. So I got croissants and then I got, this isn't a breakfast item, but I got um, a tortellini uh, and butter and the rest of the greens, I think. Um, there are two things I didn't end up getting because I think it would have been over my snap uh, count. So I try not to do that for obvious reasons. Um, one was still in a alfalfa sprouts. I already have a alfalfa sprouts, so I figured but wasn't any point in getting another pack of them. Um, and then the other was cinnamon buns and I already had a croissant, so it's fine. But I'm heading home. I'm pretty good, doing pretty good on gas, so I don't think I'll get it today. Um, I'll probably only be able to drive around um, certain local places after that um until i can get gas again but yeah i don't think i need to get gas which is good um uh, but i'll do a grocery haul when i get home so this is what i got at whole foods uh croissants I'm gonna have one of those shortly Organic um, tortellini. I'm looking forward to that. Maybe spinach. smoked salmon. This is my favorite way to eat salmon, or one of my favorite ways. The other way is uh, grilled. Smoked um, salmon or cold salmon. Um, I like to put in a lot of like sandwiches. Oops. Sandwiches. Uh, I had like a sushi type of dish the other day, and I like to use it for that. I know it's not technically um, sushi grade fish, but it still worked pretty well for what I needed it for. And the flavor is so much more pronounced than I think any sushi grade um, sushi grade fish might have. That's just personal opinion. The second uh, second to last thing is baby bok choy. The other stores don't typically have bok choy. I'm not sure, really sure why. Either popularity or um, what's it called? Or lack of popularity. Like. I don't know if people buy it to keep it in stock. And then cilantro. I like to do cilantro rice. So that's what I got. And this is my herb garden. You can see the time to the far left has started to come up. The dill is on its way up. 
and then the far right is the basil. Um, so I'm excited to see those growing. I think actually I'm going to take the top off of this one, the thyme, because it was touching it. But yeah, so I'm so excited to have my own little herb garden in the kitchen. Well, I'm going to devour one of these and then see what I'm going to have for dinner. I just wanted to pop on here to close out this vlog. Um, I guess I'll post it before Wednesday since it's a bonus video. My main upload days are Wednesdays and Sundays. And if there's a vlog, then I'll be that will be an additional video. Um, yeah, so... Um, until the next one, I guess.